Meg Outburst, Megan's friend Cameron Diaz and her 44-year-old musician husband Benji Madden were once again spotted enjoying a delightful double date with the Sussex neighbor actor Rob Lowe and his wife Cheryl Bookoff at the prestigious Steak 48 restaurant in Beverly Hills for the evening. This was after Diaz and Rob Lowe were excluded from their group of friends for a date night. In an elegant all-black look that dazzled onlookers, Cameron Diaz radiated elegance. She left the restaurant sporting a chic miniskirt, a sharp blazer, and a stylish turtleneck top. After dinner, there was a nice matching of styles on the side of the gifted lead guitarist Benji Madden, with whom she and Diaz have enjoyed nearly ten years of married bliss. Rob Lowe, along with his wife Cheryl Brokoff, was bid farewell by the couple, though Brokoff was not seen joining them outside the restaurant. As they waited for the valet to come get their cars, the three of them had a cheerful moment and laughed a lot. Back in May, Diaz was spotted giving her ex-co-star a quick hug before leaving with Benji Madden. At a sushi restaurant in Monito, Harry and Meghan were reacting to Diaz. He thought the Sussexes hurried to the restaurant's entrance so they could be photographed next to Charlie's Angel Star. He also thought that until the photos were made public, no one knew that the Sussexes and Diaz were friends. But Diaz's representative disputes that she was at the eatery with Meghan and Harry. After Meghan attempted to fabricate a bus photo using Cameron Diaz, it has been speculated that she won't be permitted to be within a mile of him. Additionally, he was refused dinner at Stack 48, a restaurant, because the owners wanted to dispel the rumors and correct the record. We're just enjoying a double date night with their respective spouses, Benji Madden and Cheryl Brokoff, and had nothing to do with Meghan Markle. They also didn't want to be linked to the controversy and criticism that the Sussex family faces. Furthermore, they didn't want to imply that they had any friendship or relationship with Meghan Markle and Prince Harry as they had never met them before. There are still rumors circulating regarding Meghan's former boyfriend, Blong the Tig, possibly returning. According to a new blind item in Sedona, we all know that the former actress wants to be recognized as the next big influencer, or Gwyneth Paltrow 2.0. Meghan is attempting to do solo appearances, but it seems that people prefer to see her with her spouse. Additionally, there are rumors that he is against the snake oil products that Meghan plans to collaborate on and market on their redesigned website. Meghan believed she could replicate the success of Gwyneth Paltrow with Goop on the Tiger but the GOP brand has substance simply by virtue of its moniker. This USA Today article is outdated. She gave an explanation for her brand's name choice. Her initials are Goop. A GPA friend made the observation that Google Goop has been a global success and that many successful online businesses have a double OS sample. According to reports, Nagin had hoped to collaborate with Cameron Diaz on the tank, but Cameron ended up working with Gwyneth. She used Instagram RS to advertise the salad that she had connected with the Koo Kitchen of Gwent PTR. Meghan has to be crazy. Many who follow the royal family speculated that Diaz and Paolo met when they were in the sushi bar restaurant at the same time as Meghan and Harry. Additionally, Gwyneth Paolo and Cameron Diaz have not released a statement announcing their support for gender equality despite their claims to have been pursued in New York.